Hey everyone, so here's a question from Integer and the question here is In a quiz, team A scored minus 40, 10, 0 and team B scored 10, 0, minus 40 in three successive rounds. Which team scored more? Can we add integers in any orders? Now this is really interesting question. So they're talking about two different teams. Team A has scored minus 40, 10, 0. Whereas team B has scored 10, 0, minus 40. Now you can see that numbers are same here, but the order is different. They're also asking that which team has scored more means we have to add these integers. And they're also asking, can we add integers in any order? So let's find out this. So here we're going to find out for team A and team B separately. So here's a solution. So first is team A. So team A has scored let me write down here it's minus 40 then plus 10 plus 0 let's add these three integers so minus 40 plus 10 let us add these two numbers so here minus 40 and 10 you can see that signs are different different sign means we have to subtract them so 40 minus 10 is 30 but 40 is a greater number with negative sign. So 40 is the greatest integer and the sign here is negative. So here we'll get minus 30. And the third digit is third number is 0. So plus 0. So minus 30 plus 0 is obviously minus 30. Now next is team B. So here is team B. So team B score here is so 10 plus 0 plus and then minus 40 okay so first i'm going to add this first two integers so 10 plus 0 is 10 so 10 plus minus 40 so 10 and 40 have a different sign 40 has a negative sign 10 is positive number two different sign means you have to subtract them so 40 minus 10 is 30 but 40 is a greater number with a negative sign it has a negative sign so we'll get minus here so minus 30. So you can notice here that both the team got the same score that is minus 30 and then minus 30. So what we can conclude from here is it's if you add integers in any order the result will obviously same it is it will always come same in like we can add in any order from you can just replace the numbers you can just rearrange the numbers and you can add them you get the same answer but when you subtract the integers the answer will not be same that is why we say that commutative property hold in case of adding integer whereas in subtraction it does not hold for example uh, let me take here two numbers that is 30 and one, let me take one more number as minus 20. Now here I'm talking about subtraction, I'm not talking about addition. Suppose we want to subtract these two numbers and I'm going to just change the order. First I'm going to subtract 30 minus and the second integer is minus 20. So this will become 30. So you can see that two different numbers have uh, uh, okay, so minus 20 and 30, right? So minus into minus will become plus. So 30 plus 20, which is 50. Now, let me just interchange the order. Suppose I do minus 20 minus 30, okay? So minus 20 minus minus plus. So when you add that, you will get 50. But the greater that is 30, it's minus, minus, so you get minus 50. You can see that the sign is different. In the first case, we got positive. In second case, we got negative. That is why the commutative property does not hold in case of subtraction. That is, you cannot add the integer, so you cannot subtract the integers in any order in case of subtraction. But in case of addition, you can add in it any order it doesn't change the result so i hope this answer is clear now in case you have a further questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching